what a journey it has been. And when I started to think about it, I just thought, blimey, it was in a place called Fran Barnet, which is in North London. It was a little, tiny amateur theatre group, and they were called the Incognitos. Now, a lot of you won't know even what that word means. It means sort of like the unknown, which it basically was. As I started in this amateur theatre, I just found for some reason that I identified with it. I was quite good at it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed trying to create these people that didn't exist. When you go back to the beginning, I found it difficult to believe that I would ever be able to achieve anything as an actor, a professional actor. I shied away from it for a long time because I never thought I was good enough. Right? Eventually, it took me over. There were so many times during the course of my career that had it not been for that, that wouldn't have happened. And if it, that didn't happen, that wouldn't have done. Or if I had taken that course or that job or that journey, that wouldn't have happened and that wouldn't have happened. So my journey through my career was one of strange quirks of fate. When we did the first series of Fools and Horses, you'd got Nick Lindhurst, and as it was then, bless him, Leonard Pierce. And we formed a bond, as we did with all of the other characters, Boise, Trigger, Denzel, uh, Marlene, Raquel, you name them all. It became a family. There was a wheeler dealer, very clever, upstairs, down there for dancing, and the next minute he was as thick as two short planks. But there you go. After one of the shows, John Sullivan and I were talking, as we did, we were great mates. He knew that I was an electrician. Funny enough, he said my father had a, a run-in with uh, some electrical work, and um, the bloke in this big house, they were decorating the house, as I seem to remember, said that, did he know anyone who could clean chandeliers because they were getting quite dirty and they were very um, expensive? And John's father said, yeah, we do that. Yes, God, we do it. Yeah, we do anything. We, actually, we are, in fact, specialists of that nature. So this bloke says, oh, really? I didn't know that. He's, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we do that all the time. So John was telling me this story. He said that they did all this, went upstairs, lifted the floorboards, undid the bolt, and they're downstairs ready to hold it. He said, and the one behind them dropped out of the sky. And I said to John, I fell about, and I said, John, you've got to write that. 